Good morning. It's Friday, November 20th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When the Grass Withers, and our scripture is Isaiah's 40th chapter, where the prophet writes, A voice said, Shout. I asked, What should I shout? Shout that people are like the grass. Their beauty fades as quickly as the flowers in a field. The grass withers and the flowers fade beneath the breath of the Lord. And so it is with people. The grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of our God stands forever. O Zion, messenger of good news, shout from the mountaintops. Shout it louder, O Jerusalem, shout! Do not be afraid. Tell the towns of Judah, your God is coming. Yes, the sovereign Lord is coming in power. He will rule with a powerful arm. See, he brings his reward with him as he comes. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will carry the lambs in his arms, holding them close to his heart. He will gently lead the mother sheep with their young. One of the reasons I like working in our yard, perhaps the strongest one, is the cycle that manifests itself year after year. If something is going to bloom, there's going to be a bud. The bud will open, and even if you've seen it a thousand times before, the bloom will have its own surprises. It may just be a slight variation, a nuance, but every bloom has its own character. There's something like children or fingerprints. They're the same, but different, unique. Isaiah said people are like the grass and flowers. His meaning is tied to our mortality. We're born for a season. We blossom with the unfolding of our personality. We develop blossoms of character, some more characters than other, and in due course we begin to wither. No sooner does Isaiah's grass and flower metaphor for God's people end that a voice tells him to shout over the withering that God is coming for his lambs. The metaphor changes from flowers and grass to sheep who long for a shepherd. Sheep are certainly as vulnerable as the flowers of the field, needing a protective hand against predators and the harsh forces of the elements. At the beginning of this chapter, Isaiah is told to comfort God's people with the assurance that the word of God, which never wilts and withers, is that promise which is the cycle of buds and blossoms. In all the withering of we grasses and flowers, there's the promise of rebirth in a new season. In this promise, there are two certainties. First, it happens constantly in what God has already created in the earth and heavens. All things cycle. It's the way of all creation in God's will. But secondly, we find in our withering years the promise is our only choice if there's to be hope against insanity. The plain way of saying this is we're created by God and for fellowship with God and we are His. When people reject that, they also reject eternity and find themselves alone. And in the final analysis, to be alone when you're created for fellowship is to exist without hope. All that exists for the unbeliever is this fleeting season of threescore and ten years. We find ourselves summer flowers and grass with no understanding or knowledge of another season to come. We're like sheep without a shepherd, so we grieve without hope. We die in madness. The Apostle Paul showed us the hope that secures our sanity in this life. In 1 Corinthians 15, 19, Paul said, If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. Then in 1 Thessalonians, he took it a little bit further. Now, dear brothers and sisters, we want you to know what will happen to the believers who have died, so you will not grieve like people who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and was raised to life again, we also believe that when Jesus returns, God will bring back with him the believers who have died. For you today. Isaiah comforted the people of his day with the knowledge that the shepherd of life was coming for them, and that the pastures he has in mind are way beyond withering and fading. 
You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.